Hi everyone and welcome to spring. This is Steve Tacko from the Appalachian Mountain Club and the Director of Maine Conservation and Land Management uh, at the MWI or the Maine Woods Initiative. And I'm here to talk to you today about some of our stream restoration work. What we're looking at here is a beautiful stream, typical stream here in the northern forest, but it's impacted by one of those, one of those road culverts on, uh, on the state road. So let's go on the other side and take a look at why this is a problem for fish here in the northeast. All right, everyone, we're on the downstream side of that culvert uh, that we just were looking at a second ago. And if you are an eastern brook trout or an Atlantic salmon, this is a real problem because you can't make that jump from the bottom of this pool up into that culvert. And for the past 30 or 40 years, AMC's land ownership has had a bunch of these culverts installed. So AMC's been leading the charge to restore the entire west branch of the Pleasant River by getting rid of things like this and building open bottom bridges so that native fish like brook trout and salmon can return to their traditional spawning grounds. And brook trout and Atlantic salmon are a crucial part of the northern forest. They're central to the ecological health and well-being of these ecosystems. And by returning them, where AMC is returning full ecological functionality to the forests that we that we steward. So let's go take a look at a completed project so you can get a sense of what these look like. All right, everyone, we are back again in Willimantic. This is just on the other side of town, and this is what one of these fish passage projects looks like when you pull the culvert and put in an open bottom bridge. And if I kneel down, uh, you can kind of get a sense of what was happening. So just picture about a four-foot culvert uh, that, that was originally here and then uh, after moving that culvert the town of Willimantic put in a 35 foot bridge which did two things it enabled fish to move from the Wilson River down there in the in the view up through into this tributary in Horseshoe Pond Stream and uh, so now it opened up about a mile and a half of upstream habitat for spawning and all made this opening a lot larger so that uh, increased rain events could wash down through here without impacting the road AMC has done this uh, on over 58 sites on AMC land. So we've done 58 of these projects, and we've opened up 62 miles of upstream habitat. It's one of the largest watershed restoration projects in the country. And uh, as, the, as the roads dry out and we're able to get around on the property, I'm really excited to show you a few of those sites and show you what we're working on this year. We've got about five projects on the docket this year to open up about six and a half miles of upstream habitat. So it's exciting stuff and really important work to be doing. 